This is Middle Class Matt from Don'tBuyTheHype.Blogspot.com and I am the Sports Genius and I am the Battle-Tested Weekend Warrior. I'm the average fan and here's my perspective on sports. USA Basketball, what I like, what we like to do on Don't Buy the Hype, uh, my partner and I, we like to say a lot of times people hype people up. Like this guy's a great athlete, that guy's a great athlete, and sometimes it's just hype. Like one of the uh, great ones would be like Tebow. Is Tebow um, the real deal, or is he all hype? Jeremy Lin, you know, those are things like that. So we're like, what buying the hype? Because ESPN wants to sell hype. We want to talk about sports. And I'm talking about USA Basketball. USA Basketball is something I watch because the summer sucks when it comes to sports. It does. It stinks. And I'm just dying for football season. I got my fantasy league set up. I'm going to be in a fantasy league. I'm going to be doing predictions on don't buy the hype of the football games. I haven't decided if I'm going to do point spreads or just straight wins. We'll see. It's going to be great. I'm just looking forward to season. I got my college tickets set up. Season tickets to the Tar Heels. I mean, this is, I'm just pumped. Um, and then when football season comes, basketball season comes too. But uh, in the meantime, I am watching USA Basketball. And I didn't, last video, I didn't buy the hype. And now people say, well, USA is going to win a gold medal. That's probably true. Uh, they'll probably beat every opponent they play. They probably won't lose a game. Um, but they have compared themselves to the 92 Dream Team. I've never, I haven't really understood that. Um, now, like I said, basketball is different. I said this last video. Um, but I do think that the 92 team would kill them inside with a big man like David Robinson, Patrick Ewing, um, Carl Malone. That is too much beef for that team to handle, even though I love Tyson Chandler. I just think he's great. Got to get you a ton of rebounds, ton of block shots, play defense, doesn't want the ball. Love Chandler. Um, he's one of my favorite players. Like, if I was a GM, I'd want him bad. Um, but... The 92 team wanted to destroy opponents, destroy them, wanted to embarrass them. And now I see these interviews come out, I believe it was yesterday, and it was Melo and Kobe and LeBron. And they're like, we don't want to embarrass people. We don't want to do that. Now, maybe they're saying that to be the right thing and not fire the opponent up. And that's all right. But I don't buy the hype with that because... They should be wanting to just devastate opponents. And this idea of we only want to win by you know one or two points as long as we win, well, then you're not as good as the 92 team. Because the 92 team had big teeth and was just wanting to gnaw and chew people up and spit them out in several pieces. So I was, last video said I don't buy the hype. Now, maybe I'm not there yet, but maybe I'm buying the hype. Maybe I'm buying the hype because... A 27-point victory against France is pretty impressive. At first, when I saw it was France, I, I didn't really know who was on the team. I haven't studied all the international teams. I knew Tony Parker would play for him, But they have six NBA players. So NBA start lineup, guys coming off the bench that are in, or a guy coming off the bench that's an NBA player, not a bad team. 27-point victory. I'd have liked it to have been 35, but I'm splitting hairs. I'm being greedy. That's a good victory. So maybe I'm going to buy the hype. Now, I'll tell you who I will buy the hype on that team. Kevin Durant. Seems like he scores 20 every time. Had 22-9 and nine this game. This guy shoots threes, and it's like layups. Man, he's unbelievable. I saw him play in high school, and I couldn't figure out what the deal was when I heard about him before. I was like, the guy's like 6'10", 6'11". He weighs 190 pounds. It said that he struggles with inside moves and stuff, and... I was like, well, why is he good at it? And then I saw this guy shooting threes 10 feet behind the three-point line. I said, man, I have never seen anybody that big and that long shoot threes. So I always buy the hype on uh, um, Kevin Durant. Um, but the next game is going to be July 1st for the, uh, for the USA team. Like I said, even though I'm not totally buying the hype, I'm going to watch every game. Something to do during the summer. I love basketball. And I'm patriotic. I love the U.S. team. I watched the 92 Dream Team, um, but uh, it's uh, going to be July 31st, which will be a Tuesday. That will be the next game against Tanzania, and uh, then there will be another game, give me a second, um, and that will be August 2nd against Nigeria, I believe. And so those are the next two games coming up. Um, if you want all the games, 
Go to Don't Buy the Hype and go to the first USA Basketball video I have and you can get the entire schedule. I'm Middle Class Matt and I am the Sports Genius and go to don'tbuythehype.blogspot.com.